in previous uh, reactions uh, in the car formation of carbene, uh, we have studied that the carbene could be produced from the ketene when the ketene is heated or when it is exposed to the light okay on some uh, or some wavelength light shines on this uh, ketene it will produce the carbene the carbene will be singlet and after some time because it's methylene carbene after some time after very quickly it will go to the triplet ground state okay so the same this is a chain same ketene type of a species uh, it is ch2 ch2 and ch3 okay and the other is h so when this uh, species uh, this species was exposed to light with some nanometer of light okay or heat either of it uh, if you heat this thing or it's you expose it to light or um, it will produce a singlet carbene and then will become uh, will produce a triplet carbene i have written those reactions for you uh, to save some time okay so as we know that if this carbene is uh, it produces the carbene and the carbene is in singlet state if some alkene was present so it will uh, react with the alke carbene okay in the singlet state because if you have alkene as a solvent present so the carbene will directly react with the uh, alkene uh, okay and will produce the cyclopropane ring like this and this should also uh, react with uh, the alkene to produce the cyclopropane ring let's me uh, show you suppose we have this c h2 double bond this is a ketene a thing which will produce the uh, carbene okay and if we have some cis alkene present this alkene and if you heat or provide some light or shine light on the container in which they are placed so it will quickly produce this is a cis cyclopropene because first of all this thing uh, will become a carbene in a singlet state and it will immediately react with the uh, alkene uh, with the alkene and produce this thing okay so uh, you have to take some amount of the alkene and some amount of this uh, and it will produce this thing but now when they took this molecule okay so all uh, all of us are expecting that it will produce a singlet carbene and then a triplet carbene and if we place some sort of uh, alkene here okay plus this cis alkene in some some quantity suppose we take one mole of this thing and three moles of this thing and yeah or here we took one mole of this thing three moles of this thing suppose here again we take one mole and three moles of this thing so it should uh, produce the cyclopropane ring in the same way it okay what was its final product first of all what will happen it uh, it will be remain intact in heat or light and this thing uh, will become a carbene now alkyl substituted carbene and it will react with the alkene to produce a cyclopropane ring okay we are expecting that it should be like this and before going to a triplet state it will quickly immediately react with the alkene okay in a singlet state and produce a cyclopropane ring but this time what will be there this is the uh, carbene carbon okay it has one h and it has one two three okay this thing okay 
it with this this was the product which we would uh, be expecting and say let's say it this product in this reaction the product was formed in 80% uh, yield so we would be expecting this also uh, to be produced in 80 or 70 75 70 even 60% yield but this was produced less than 50% uh, sorry less than 30% under the same condition when one mole of this thing was taken three moles of this thing was taken or one mole of this or three moles of this like this when these conditions were applied to this thing this product was uh, formed uh, in a very less uh, amount but instead another product was produced and that was this is our alkene Okay, it is one, two, three carbon. It produces CH2, H, and CH3. This thing in more amount. The, so uh, it uh, confuses. It confused the science, scientists that what is happening. Though you can uh, achieve a good yield by increasing this uh, alkene. Uh, five times or six times even 20 times uh, but the reaction was not uh, parallel to this one the reaction was quite different to the uh, from this reaction uh, so what they thought that something else is happening that why this product is produced okay so uh, they perform other experiments so this reagent when was reacted with alkene it produced a very good yield in presence of heat or light okay and this present a uh, poor yield of this uh, cyclopropene ring because it was expected in light condition under light or under heat in both cases so this uh, really confused uh, the scientists and they then perform some experiments that's what is happening and other reaction as previously I think I have uh, mentioned that if we have uh, some uh, halogen group present on uh, primary carbon atom and this is reacted with a strong strong carbon base carbon from carbon base I mean that a negative charge should be present on a carbon okay phenyl lithium okay phenyl lithium is just like this thing this is phenyl here one proton is uh, uh, replaced and is taken by uh, is substituted by a lithium okay this is phenyl lithium so as you know that the lithium is very much electropositive so it is almost uh, negative and this is positive so this carbon is very much basic in nature so when they treated this molecule with the phenyl lithium it was a previous reaction everyone as uh, they were expecting uh, something else but some other thing happened okay they were expecting that it will produce a carbene okay this is CH and H it will produce a carbene and then they can react it with alkene etc so uh, here another thing happened here again the product like the above one it is pro it was produced so this product could be produced by two methods and by this product can also be produced by another method so like beta elimination as you know that if you have this bromine present in a molecule this is a bromine and the majority of us know that if we have a strong base present sorry a sodium hydroxide even a moderate base like NaOH okay so a beta elimination can occur and we can have this product okay
in normal cases we can get this product here and again but uh, some people would, might be expecting that the phenyl lithium may have taken this hydrogen and it will produce the alkene so there is no need to produce a carbene but actually as you know that this phenyl lithium or the carbon bases are extremely strong so they're also called uh, they're extremely basic they are uh, negatively charged they're very much negatively charged they are very hard and they will go and look for the hard sites in a molecule so as you see that here in this molecule this car this proton these protons these two protons are more positively charged because they are very uh, much near to the bromine atom okay so the best the butyl lithium or the uh, phenyl lithium base in which the phenyl has a negative charge it should not come here because it is so much reactive it will directly go for the charge as you know that this carbon is attached uh, uh, bromine is attached to the carbon now these hydrogen acquires uh, uh, positive partial positive charge they have some partial positive charge present on this because the uh, inductively removes the electrons from this carbon and this carbon is rendered positive charged and now this positive charge they also pull the electrons from these hydrogen very much and these hydrogen are very very much uh, electropositive or they have become partial positive those hydrogens are more positive than this one okay and phenyl lithium is a base which is a hard base it will go for charge rather than beta elimination so it was also clear to the scientists by then that it should attack this place but in reality what happened uh, actually this phenyl lithium abstract this proton or this proton okay these are same same they are both partial positive not this one because this is farther away from the bromine and it is not very much positive okay and the base is very much uh, reactive so it will go for the charge it was known to the scientist that it should abstract so when the base phenyl lithium came I am writing this like in this way okay this is negative charged suppose let's write it for a time being in an ionic form it will remove this proton and a negative charge will appear on this carbon okay one hydrogen is taken away bromine is still present and now a negative charge appear here and the red hydrogen there the red hydrogen is still present now what can happen what will happen because uh, this is an intermediate carbonine this intermediate is written like this okay uh, what okay what the scientist thought was that that for here the bromine will leave when the bromine leaves an other intermediate carbene is produced because the bromine leave with the uh, bond elect bonding the electron present in the bond so it will produce a carbene okay so the scientists thought thought their first thought that actually in reality what would had have, uh, have happened this carbene carbon this electron might have pushed here okay and this hydrogen along with the bonding electron have might have shift to the same carbon okay let me write it in some easy way that it's a CH3 it is a hydrogen and it is an other hydrogen and it is a CH this is the carbene okay so they have thought that what actually happened was that that this 
carbon pushed its electron into this bond okay and tries to make a double bond and this hydrogen along with the electrons okay I have mess up here with the bonding electron shifted to this carbon it's called hydride shift so first of all uh, it's a concerted uh, reaction or a concerted step this means that both the things uh, are happening at the same time it just pushes the electron here and it comes here so or you can say that the carbene is electrophilic so the hydrogen adjacent on the adjacent carbon directly comes to uh, attach itself with the carbene because the carbene is very electrophilic it is electron deficient species and at the same time uh, the carbene then push electron to uh, form a double bond so it will produce that double bond so uh, it could happen in either way uh, either the CH uh, shift first and then the electron are pushed into this carbon to form a pi bond or the electrons come here and this goes at the same time so it's concerted so this thing happened at the same time and the result is CH3 I am writing this CH3 CH double bond C the red H this H okay and now the blue H which is shifted so as you look this is the same product like this but science doesn't uh, want like uh, but science uh, needs experiment you cannot say that this pri uh, product may be formed or may have formed prove it because science requires or needs evidences so the scientist provides evidences uh, to prove this product and they have designed an experiment okay what was that experiment let me show you why I am doing this it will be clear that why I am going to write those reactions and those extra products it's very important it will tell you something very uh, important so the scientists came up okay with an idea they now took oh sorry these are hydrogens okay two deuteriums here okay in place these are also hydrogens but they are other isotopes they behave almost like the same hydrogens but they are a little bit different and it could be uh, seen or you can uh, you can predict you can see those things in in uh, nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy that whether the structure has deuterium even the mass spectrometry can tell you that the molecule has deuterium for right now you have two different things attached if beta elimination might have taken place beta elim elimination mean the same reactions which we studied pre uh, from the very beginning okay let me write it in another way that anti planar state may appear so if this is the base butyl lithium or phenyl lithium if this reaction was taken like this this hydrogen may have attacked this this is evidence okay so there it will leave it is a simple beta elimination okay e2 beta elimination reaction and this is our CH3 it has nothing now the CH3 come on its place okay this is the other CH one H is lost now you have at the uh, terminal carbon two deuteriums okay but what happened how they proved that the carbene is produced okay so they got some other results what have what will happen 
when this proton is attacked okay it may seem a little bit difficult to you but it's not, not that much difficult okay if this deuterium is attacked it is again the same proton first this proton was attacked now if these protons these are almost protons okay if this plus is attacked with the base phenyl lithium what will happen this is negative charge it will produced with the scientists thought that it might have happened so what will happen what will this is our bromine one of the deuterium is gone and as you know the deuterium is proton so a carbon ion is produced and immediately the bromine leaves as the bromine leave what will happen uh, a carbene is produced okay because the deuterium I have written on that on the same this is called bromine bromide ion is left and we are left with a carbene with a deuterium okay so they were genius scientists now they thought that what is happening which I have mentioned a bit earlier that this thing this carbon will push electron the carbene will push electron in double bond and this hydrogen will come and sit on this carbon okay so what will be the product then the product will be again an alkene but this time a deuterium will be present here and a hydrogen will be present here okay in the previous if it were a beta elimination the base would have taken only this proton okay and in the product you will had you will have two deuterium present on the terminal carbon but what when they did the experiment and they saw the product the product actually was this it has one deuterium present in it so they proved the existence of carbene intermediate so what they so what they were proposing was correct and they proved it experimentally by uh, taking a molecule which has two deuterium instead of two hydrogen on the carbon to which the bromine was attached and when they checked the product the product for had one deuterium into it and this has two deuterium here on the terminal carbon this has one so this can only be formed when this deuterium is attacked by a base strong base phenyl lithium it will lead us to another intermediate which is carbon 9 and the, as you know that this uh, when there is a carbon 9 and there is a living group also present to that carbon which has a negative charge the living group can live and produce a carbene okay so the carbene was produced and the carbene did the same thing it uh, tried to form a bond with this carbon and the hydrogen uh, shifts shifted uh, shifts with its bonding electron with its two electrons so it is called hydride a shift so it come here and a double bond is produced okay so this thing was produced right okay so now you will be thinking that why what about this whole story why I am telling this story to you people is it relevant yes it is very much relevant and it has to do something with the reactions or the above reactions the reaction which I already showed you this reaction C or C the bond O So what actually happened as you saw that the alkyl carbenes they do something else those carbenes which are produced from this thing they are very they are free carbene when you give it a light and it will produce a singlet carbene and after some time it will go do some inter-system conversion to a triplet carbene 
it will it also produces a singlet carbine okay but before going to a triplet may, most of these now right I should write it like this most of these alkyl carbene decomposes or they destroy they destroy themselves or they react with itself so what they do they do like this thing okay they attack because they are in need of electrons and there are electrons present in the bond so why to go outside if you have money inside your house go and get that uh, you should not go and uh, get it from someone else so these are the money or the electron present here so the carbine attack attacks here and this whole thing shifts to this carbon and ultimately you have this thing produced so this was the product so uh, what uh, was the aim? The aim was that if you take this thing above, okay, this ketene and react it with the alkene, cis or trans no matter, in light or heat, you might be expecting this product. Suppose this is cis but you will not get this product in good yield you will get it maybe uh, in very very small yield if you use uh, one equivalent of the alkene or two equivalent of the alkene with this okay you will not get this thing in good yield you will take it in a small amount but instead you will take you will get this thing this product so long short or long story short the alkyl carbenes now the alkyl carbenes are the carbenes which have uh, some alkane chain in it this is alkyne, alkyl carbene this is again alkyl carbene now this is CH3 they could be produced by many ways but they are very much unstable this is was the one point which I wanted to show you that they react with themselves instead of reacting with an external reagent or thing okay so that's why this thing was unable to produce this product in good yield so as in the start uh, why when I was uh, doing when I was uh, discussing the reactions of the carbenes I tried to avoid the alkyl carbenes as you know I mostly say that this CH2 double bond serum bond, this thing can produce a carbene like this and it could react with a double bond if you want and you will get a cyclopropane diazo compounds I also uh, mentioned they when they are exposed to light they can also produce the CH2 even we also studied this thing C Cl3H it is when reacted with the base it do alpha elimination alpha mean on the same carbon here it produces CCl3 negative and one Cl left leaves is uh, uh, chloride ion and you have CCl2 a carbene it's again not an alkyl carbene these all are very good they can react very easily but uh, the one uh, which I mentioned uh, the alkyl carbenes, carbenes they are not good then you if you even if you uh, make them or you mm, synthesize those carbene alkyl carbenes they will react with itself very fastly and a very less amount will be left behind to react with the alkene or the reagent you want to treat it with so the alkyl carbene are unstable they decompose decompose means that they react with itself 
and they are not available for the outside things.